Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Teal Garcia and today we're going to talk about light overlays. We're going to talk about putting a light overlay over a photo in Photoshop and I'm going to do this very short and sweet and hopefully it'll help. I see a lot of people asking about how to add sun flares or whatnot to your photos. So this should answer all of those questions. Um, the first thing that you want to do, and it's like I talked about in the sky overlay video, you want to make sure that you're working with a photo that like light's going to work. If you have, let's say, a photo with a bunch of trees around and there would really be no light coming through the trees, like adding some kind of light leak or a burst of light coming from a random spot isn't going to work out. The photo that I'm going to use today is this one, and as you can see, the sun was setting to the left of the photo here. So that's, it. the light's already directional, so that's what we're going to work with. We're going to work with a photo that already has light coming from quite a big source. Okay, so I've had this edited in Lightroom, how I want to edit it. Um, you can do, just like the sky overlays, you can edit a photo first in Lightroom and then pull it over to add the sky, or you can add the sky and then pull it back to Lightroom to edit after you add the light. Either is fine. I did say in the sky video that it's better to add your sky and then edit your color toning, but for this, it's not necessarily the same because it is just kind of like a light source. Uh, so for this one, I am pulled it into Photoshop. We're going to go File. We're going to go Place Linked. I'm going to go find my overlay. So this is just a pack I bought from Etsy. I will link that below. It's got a lot of good stuff going on. So since the area of the photo that we're going to add light to is a pretty big light source. I'm just going to play with um, like a really big bright circle. So we're going to go with this. I'm going to flip this around just because it's better. All right. You don't have to make it fit the photo all the time, but you will get like harsh because this is where the block ends like the light ends anyway, you will get like a harsh like stop from the light. Um, but let me show you what to do. So you'd place this on here and you're going to hit this little check mark at the top saying, yep, that's where I want it. And then you're going to come over here, which is your blend modes. And right now it says normal, but you're going to go to screen. And that's going to, what screen does, it takes away all of the black and leaves everything else. But you can see down here actually, let me show you. You can see down here what I was talking about with the harsh line. And so that's why I say to kind of make sure that if there are harsh lines, like if it just kind of ends, that you make it fit. So we'll just make that fit. And then there's not going to be, and there really wasn't that much of harsh of lines over here. But okay, check mark. See, we got to get, we kind of got to get the sun where we want it. I like the little light rays. You can just play with it and make sure you get it, you know, where you want it. And then you go like that. And then you can come over here and make adjustments to the light layer. You can turn it down a little bit. You can turn it up a little bit. If you have this selected, I've talked about it in my sky overlay tutorial and my layer mask tutorial, um, editing just a certain layer. So you can edit this layer. You can go over into like color balance. Like let's say it's not, um, it's not warm enough for you. So you want to like, crazy warm it up, right? Like you want some like orange sun. You can do that. Actually, I actually don't think that looks that bad, but I am going to turn it down a little bit. And then also, so let's say you've put the light, so you like the way the light's looking over here, right? But it's kind of overpowering your subjects. What you can do is you can add a layer mask. That's this little white box with a dot in it. Again, if you haven't watched my layer mask video, this might be confusing. So go watch that video. I'll link it below. And then you can actually mask off. You go ahead and you use a black brush and you mask it off where you want it. So if you don't want it over the people, you do have to be careful though with this just because like 
see, look, now it's not on the, I recommend not doing it 100% capacity. Um, kind of just start wiping it off where you don't want it. Like maybe where sun wouldn't hit. Like maybe a little bit down in here. You just kind of play with it and you get your light looking natural. All right, I'm gonna save this. It's not necessarily how I would edit this, but I just wanted to show you the light. I'm gonna hit file save and I'm gonna pull it back over into Lightroom so you can see the before and after. There you go. There is the before and after of that light leak. All right, I hope that answered any questions you have about light leaks and how to add them to your photos. It's super easy. You just kind of got to tweak them and mess with them and make them match your photo. Don't just throw light leaks in anywhere you think it would be cool again and make sure you match the light directionally. If somebody's face is shadowed on one side, you probably shouldn't add a light leak over there just because, you know, it's not going to look natural. So, but they're fun to play with. Again, I will link those light leaks that I bought on Etsy. I will link them down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments. If you're not subscribed, please do so, and I will see you next time. Bye!